Hello everyone, welcome back to sub to buzz rs the democracy account where the rules change every episode based on the top liked comment. Last episode, I was locked to the wilderness and thank you all for the great comments and ideas on last video, but the top comment goes to Verf. Verf said to spend an episode on Karamja and to fill 50 crates of bananas for his boy Luthis, who has been struggling a bit lately. In order for this episode to end, I must complete 50 total crates. Besides for that, I can do anything I want to on Karamja. So let's get straight to it. Anything for Luthis. Alright, and here we go. We are finally leaving the wilderness. Let's go ahead and teleport to the Tsar fight pit. Since that is in Karamja, that is my fastest mode of travel. Alright, and here we go. I'm um, first things first, I'm gonna go to Luthis and go check out on our boy. Alright, here we are with Luthis. Let's go ahead and talk to the man. Uh, could you offer me employment? Alright, let's go pick a few bananas and fill up some crates. And there's an easy task in Karamja completed. Alright, here we go, moment of truth. Fill. It's ten. So there's my first crate. Fill. Do I have to talk to him every time I want to do this? Wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh no, I have to talk to him every time I have to do this. Alright, well there's two. Let's go ahead and fill like 20 crates, I guess. Oh snap, there's a genie. Um, um, I don't even know what to put this in. Um, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is put in HP because I do plan on doing some agility. Um, and I don't have Erplor unlocked and any other stuff like that. So, let's just go ahead and get a level X HP level. And there's 12 HP. Back to uh, filling crates. Oh, I don't know what goes in there. It's not like I've already done this six times or something. And there's 300 coins, meaning that we have filled up 10 total crates. Let's go in and explore this brewery. I'm not sure what there is in here. I think you need this for like, the, yeah, the Kromsha rum in that one quest. Ooh, there's jugs of wine. How much is that? One coin? That might be useful for the Burmhaven course I was just gonna take bananas but these heal more I believe so that might be a good idea 
Alright, well, back to picking bananas and we'll explore more of the island. I want to get 20 crates out of the way first. Or 20 coins, nice. And there's 600 coins, so that means we have filled up the crates 20 times. So let's go and explore a little bit more of the island. As you can see, there's an arrow spawn back there. There's a knife right here. Uh, I saw this rope. I'm going to take that. There's a banana spawn there. And let's shop. Let's see. Just a regular general store. Nothing really interesting. Seven coins? Damn, so that I can just pick up this spawn in the general store, Hop World, and just sell it for seven coins. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll show the bananas out of curiosity. Zero coins. Well, over here there's some scorpions and uh, imp spawns. But I think the next thing that we're going to go do is we are going to go do the Brimhaven agility course. Just for a little bit. Um, not really sure how it goes at level 1. So we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get some... Drop these bananas. Let's go ahead and get some wines. Alright, and there we go. We bought a full inventory of wine. Let's go to the Brimhaven Agility course. Unfortunately, I can't do jungle potions since I don't have Druidic Ritual done. Um, as I figured that was the case. Also, there's monkey spawns, so that'll be nice to train on later. Holy crap, it was 200 coins to enter? I thought it was like 30. Oh my god. Okay, well let's go and train up some agility. Um, this man's out here making bank. So it seems like it's 2 damage every time. Which is good, so that means I can just wait till I get to uh, 2 or 1 HP if I regen fast enough. And then I can uh, drink my jug of wine. There's my first agility level, and uh, I guess let's just keep going. There's level 3. 4 agility. There's 5 agility. I can now do that wall in Falador. 
While I'm swinging on these ropes, I just wanted to say comment down below a rule for episode 3. Uh, so far, I've really liked this series just because of the engagement with the community. So go and comment anything down below in general. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And there's another 10 crates done. I only have 20 more crates. Let's go. Let's go do some more agility. I got six agility so far, so let's keep training it. There's seven agility. Okay, good. I died here once. So, uh, that makes me feel better. Um, oh, there's eight agility. There's nine agility. There's 10 agility on my Kromja locked. 13 agility. There's 15 agility. Oh, let's go blue wizard hat and with this hop there is 20 agility let's go try to get a ticket now all right this is the one all right monkey bars Let's go! We finally did it! Oh, there's 22 agility. Alright, that's gonna be the last agility level for this episode. Alright, we got one ticket from the agility arena, and it only cost us one death. <laughs> it's time for the ultimate challenge of the account. <laughs> Time to fight for our lives. Here's the combat stats. We got an easy achievement diary. Medium achievement diary. Oh my god. Do you think I could even kill one? Easy dub right here. I forgot they're level 22. Holy shit. <laughs> He's fucking me. Uh, oh my god. E. Nine attack, we have to win. I don't know their max hit, so I'm kinda scared. Let's go, 13 HP. The free regen. 
Let's go, wave one done. The hardest thing in the fight caves. Completed. And there's 50 total crates of bananas done for our boy Luthus and his beautiful, beautiful pet monkey on his back. Once again, I want to thank Verf for this great idea of being Karamja locked and not being able to leave until I can help loot this. Please everyone go comment down below the next rule you want to see. I saw some amazing ideas in last episode's comment section. I won't use the same person twice in a row. Therefore, if Verf comments a rule on this video, I won't use it. But if he comments a rule on next video, I will use it. Just so that other people get the opportunity of being able to present a good rule. Especially with someone as big as Ferf. He's probably going to win every single time he comments. And uh, that's not me saying don't comment. I'll take every comment I can get. But seriously, thank you all for watching. And I want to give a special thanks to Zulu and Mountain Man. They know what they did. But go check, uh, go check those two out if you haven't seen them. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy. And once again, comment down below. Even if you're not leaving a rule, just say hi. I'll be live at the time of release. So come join the Twitch and say hi. Say that you came from YouTube and we'll have a good time. I hope you all have an amazing day.